morning, 746. Flu season is finally over. Dr. Jamie Freeman joins us this morning with some common illnesses, other ones that your kiddos may catch during the summer. I don't think there is a worse feeling than being sick during the summer, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we talk, sometimes you relate getting sick with the winter time, but people still get colds in the summer. It's true. There are plenty of things that go around in the spring and the summer. Some kind of bad, like the flu, but not as frequent. So we don't think of summertime as a really bad illness season, but there are plenty of things that we're going to see that's going to keep us busy and keep parents on their toes. Okay, we're going to talk about some of those, but one of the big ones, and one of my three children did get this, it was horrendous. <laughs> they got hand, foot, and mouth. What is that for any parent who may not know what, what that is? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary, but it's very, very common. So it can show up as just a sore throat and sores in the mouth. It can be sores in the mouth as well as on the palms and on the soles of the feet. Frequently there'll be fever, um, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, sometimes cold symptoms, so a variety of symptoms. So there's this big spectrum of what you can get with hand, foot, and mouth disease. And it seems like once one kid gets it, I mean, the alerts go out in the schools that somebody has hand, foot, and mouth, so it's highly contagious, yes? It's very contagious, and while it can spread like a cold if you sneeze or cough on someone, it can also spread through the GI tract, and it can be spreading for a long time. So when kids don't wash their hands great after going to the bathroom, they keep spreading it. So once it's out there in the community, it's kind of out there. It's but really hard to control. Why does this come up more in, in the summer? All viruses tend to have a cyclical um, you know, component to them, but it can spread in the water. It can spread in the pools. Ah, it's the pools that were, because yeah. it's that season where everybody starts <laughs> jumping in all the friends' pools, the community pools. Right. So. Um, what, what do you do? You can't not go in the pool during the summer. Well, definitely if your child has diarrhea, you really need to keep them out of the pool. And it's not just hand, foot, and mouth you're trying to prevent. The CDC has been trying to get this information out there recently as well. If your child has diarrhea, or you do, do not go in the pool. It's a really bad idea. You're really going to spread whatever it is that you have. When you talk about hand, foot, and mouth, I think we have a picture, if we haven't shown it because I've been looking over at you. Do we have a picture of the blisters so we can help? parents understand, oh, yep, this is it. I remember this. I remember this. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it just looks like a few little blisters. I've seen it where the blisters are so big, you can sometimes treat it like a burn, like you kind of have to, to put some dressings on it. But mm. um, for the most part, it's going to be either little red dots or little red blisters. For bigger kids, actually, it's worse. It can be really painful. The hands and feet will be really, really painful. And of course, the sore throat, because you have the sores in the mouth. And then do you go to a doctor? You get medication for it? Do you write it out? It's a virus, so antibiotics aren't going to treat it. Um, pain control is important. Sometimes the doctor is necessary to just check, make sure the child is hydrated, or make sure they're not missing something else. Okay, give us our last piece of advice, Dr. Friedman, as we're going into the summer, flu season over, we're getting ready for a new batch of stuff. What is the best thing parents can do coming this summer? Same thing as the winter, really good hand washing. If your child is sick, keep them home from camp, and of course, if they have any diarrhea, don't go in the pool. My kids have had something for like 10 days now, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to get this. I think I got it. That's yeah. the way it goes. It circles around. I have everybody. a little something, too. It yeah. just happens. It happens. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, thank you.